Now, more than ever, Mets Charter School will be cracking down on the uniform policy. We will explain next. And also, 7th and ninth grade students better make sure they get this paper signed if they want to opt out on a very important health screening. But first... Hi, I'm Julian Chung. Later on, we'll be telling you how to turn this little piece of gauze into a beautiful work of art. You're watching MCS TV, where we dare to be extraordinary. I'm Abigail Munoz. And I'm Michael Sweeney. The 8th, 9th, and 10th grade spring formal is coming up, and tickets will be on sale today. The tickets will be $35, and they will be sold during your lunch periods, and you can also purchase them at the main office. From formal dresses to school uniforms, Mets teachers and staff are strictly enforcing the school dress code. Our very own Angelie Serrano caught up with Mets deans of students, Mr. Danny Seco and Mr. Malpass, on what and what not to wear when it comes to school. Angelie? Thanks. Hi, I'm Angie Serrano, and I'm here with the two Dean of Students, Mr. Malpass and Mr. Danny Tico, to talk about the uniform policy. So can you please explain about the uniform policy? Sure. Good morning. Um, the uniform is a blue polo or a white polo with the Mets insignia patch. Um, you can wear khaki pants, black pants, navy blue pants. For ladies, you can wear the khaki skirt, navy blue skirt, or black skirt. Keep in mind, there's no jeans. Whether they're black jeans, blue jeans, khaki jeans, whatever it is, no jeans. That's to be a dress pant. A lot of students have asked me about wearing the sweatshirt. Of course, you're allowed to wear a sweatshirt if you're cold with a Mets, a Mets charter school sweatshirt, but you are to have that blue polo or white polo underneath. Um, I want to hand it over to Mr. Seco and then tell you what's going to happen if you don't have your uniform on. Uh, basically, Mr. Malpass and I are going to go around every morning. If you don't have your uniform on, we're going to pull you out and put you into ISS. That's the in-school suspension room in the trailer. We're going to give you an opportunity to call your parents, to have your parents bring in the proper uniform. If not, you will be sent home for the day and possibly be further suspension. Gee, that's really serious. So what about my uniform right now? Am I okay? Andrew, you look great. Right. You look great. I, and Andrew, also, I want to talk about the... Uh, the the gym uniform if you ha if you're in gym you can wear the gym shirt but throughout the day mr seco and i expect the students to have their polo shirts on your gym shirt does not part of the uniform throughout the day you're supposed to have the polo on and also a lot of students ask about the blazer as well um, the blazer is fine to wear here at school you can wear a blouse shirt underneath that but it has to have the mets insignia patch on that blazer in order for it to be part of the proper school uniform well, thank you very much. Back to you in the studio. To all 7th and 9th grade students, Mets Charter School will be providing a screening program for scoliosis, which is an abnormal curve of the spine. It is required by state law. It's simple. It will be performed in the nurse's office, where the nurse will examine the student's spine. The importance of this test is to recognize scoliosis at its earliest stages and to refer students to their primary health care provider if needed. If you want to opt out from this program, make sure you sign this paper and return it to your homeroom teacher. And if you're heading into the nurse's office or just passing by, please welcome the newest member of our Mets family, Ms. Gatto, our new nurse, who will be working alongside Mrs. Estrada to keep our school healthy. Our very own Oscar Hernandez introduces us. Oscar? Hello, everybody. My name is Oscar Hernandez, and I'm here with Ms. Gatto. Ms. Gatto, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Oscar. How are yeah, you? I'm good. Thank you. Ms. Gatto is working alongside Ms. Estrada in the school nurse industry. So, Ms. Gatto, can you tell us about something about yourself? Well, I am from Fairlawn, New Jersey, which is not very far from here. I went to Ramapo College of New Jersey, and I have a degree in biology, and I also have a degree in nursing, and I'm happy to be here at METS. All right, thank you. Uh, so would you like to give the students a message, or would you like to let the students know anything about yourself? Well, I want to make this the healthiest school year we've had so far, so anything we can do to work on that would be great. And feel free to come by and say hi to me in the nurse's office. All right, thank you. Back to you in the studio. March is National Craft Month and is a perfect excuse to try something new, even if you're not an artist. Our art teacher, Mr. Simmons, is going to show us how easy it is to hone a new skill. Our very own Julian Chong caught up with Mr. Simmons. Julian? Hi, I'm Julian Chong, and earlier I caught up with Mr. Simmons doing a very interesting project with his kids using very simple objects to make beautiful masterpieces. So basically, you wet it down and you put it in position. And you shape it. And this is the same basic stuff that's used in hospitals, or used to be used in hospitals anyway. 
when folks would get a broken arm or leg or finger or whatever, and uh, they'd cast it, and the cast will stay on there until the bone comes back together. So basically, you wet it down, you lay it on top, and you form it. Manipulate it until it, the plaster is activated, becomes real creamy, kind of like uh, ice cream consistency. This is a dry version, front and back. What we do from here is take the sketch that guy saw a day ago, and we literally draw it on here with a pencil, and then we paint and add glitter and feathers and buttons and shells or whatever is necessary to get the mask to finish product. You know, so that's basically what, so what Dylan is doing today, he's starting this. So at a certain point when this is dry, we'll remove the plastic uh, form. And then this will stand on its own. Doing those simple steps, you'll be able to make this beautiful piece of art right here. Our very own Charles Torres is standing by with more information on National Craft Month. Charles? That's right, Julian. I'm Charles Torres, and continuing our coverage for National Craft Month, I'm here in front of Mr. Simmons' board, taking coverage of what took him so hard, so much days of work to do. And one of our Met students here, Dylan Epperson, is here to explain the importance of this board. Hi. Uh, this board represents uh, National Black History Month, Women's History Month, and National Craft Month. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the people in this board? Uh, sure. This man, his name is George Crumb. He is the inventor of the potato chip. And this woman over here, her name is May C. Jemson. She was the first African-American woman to work in NASA. And this man over here is named Dr. Mark Dean. He was the inventor of the first computer chip. Wow, I never knew those people. Thank you very much, Dylan. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching Match Charter School TV, where we dare to be extraordinary. I'm Michael Sweeney. And I'm Abigail Munoz, and we'll see you next week on MCS TV.